Okay, Alex, it's important on, um, to remember that every landing is a fail go around, so we need to be ready to go around at any point on final approach. Just checking our final is clear. So on final approach, I want you to say to yourself, okay, if I'm not feeling comfortable with any part of the approach or landing, or if I fall outside my standard uh, parameters, safe parameters, I'm going to go around. So I want you to say to yourself that, that mentally every time you're on final approach. If I'm not feeling comfortable, or if I fall outside of my standard approach and landing parameters, I'm going to go around. So I'm gonna, we're going to simulate a go around. I'll tell you shortly to go around, and I want you to go around. So we may be coming in now, and all of a sudden we get a, a gust, and we're not straight with the runway, and I want you to go around. Full power first, nose on the horizon, climb attitude, play fair speed, flap up slowly, and once you're at 300 feet, then flaps up, yep, and trim the aircraft. And once you're at a safe height, we can slowly move across to the non-active side of the circuit. When we're above 500 feet, and it's safe to do so, and there's no, if we confirm there's no aircraft taking off behind us, we can turn onto our crosswind leg, and then, if it's safe to do so, we can give a radio call. Okay. So in summary, a large proportion of landing accidents occur because the pilot is determined to land the aircraft. Good airmanship is being aware that an event that puts the aircraft and occupants at risk might happen during the approach and landing. The best way to prepare for a go-around is to mentally prepare yourself on final approach. On final approach, you need to do a mental checklist. Say to yourself, if during the approach and landing, the aircraft falls outside the standard parameters, or if I feel uncomfortable, I will go around. Standard parameters include approach speed constant, vertical speed constant, no sudden wind gusts, approach clear of aircraft and birds, and crosswind within aircraft and pilot limitations. For a go run, we apply full power, climb attitude for best climb, trim as required, balance, retract the flap slowly in stages, once above 500 feet AGL, fly to the non-active side, radio core if required, and rejoin circuit if clear of any aircraft. Thanks for joining me on today's GoFly Tips, and remember, every landing is a failed go-round.